If you're like me and want a Pro Display XDR not for its color accuracy or contrast levels, but simply for its stunning 6K resolution, then this video is for you. I set out with a unique problem, and I think I came up with a unique solution. The problem? How do I add vertical screen space to an iMac setup for Final Cut Pro? Can I preserve a 5K well-color balanced work area and keep the iMac the focus and add screen real estate around the display in a way that lets me use the vertical screen real estate? In today's video, we're going to do exactly that. Add a specific screen, go through the setup, do a brief overview, and then open up for comments. Apple advertises its 6K display and then even subtly admits that while 5K is great for video editing, there's not nearly enough vertical space, at least for me, to easily do timeline edits and simultaneously see everything I need to see in the file browsers. So. How do I get a setup that is like the Pro Display XDR, which gives us more space for vertical editing without spending $6,000? First, let's answer a question. What do all of these iMac screen setups have in common? None of these setups have more usable vertical space below the iMac, so I drew up a plan. What's the iMac display size? 27 inches. What's the horizontal space? We want a display under it that's super small in height, that's thin and narrow, and that should fit under the iMac. After I searched for short ultrawides, the smallest, most ridiculous ratio I found is 21 by 9 and 25 inches. The LG 25UM58 21 by 9 Ultra IPS display. The next step is to do some research. How good of a fit would it be? I headed over to an awesome website called DisplayWars.com. Here I first entered my iMac display and then the size of a short ultrawide. You can see here, it's almost a perfect fit. I wish there were even wider and smaller ultrawides because I wanted a screen just a few times taller than a touch bar to put just a small timeline on it. Oh well. We found a screen that fits the width, but then what? If I put the screen right in front of the iMac, it's going to block the display. Enter my latest search from Amazon. The next best thing to get the screen as closest as possible to the iMac is to remove the tall stand underneath. The solution I found was an adjustable Visa stand that mounts to the back of the screen. I did some research and found out that the ultra wide uses 75 by 75, so I made sure this stand supports it. The remaining problem was to elevate the iMac. I measured the height of the iMac screen. That is where the screen starts from the top of my desk and the height of the monitor I need to fit underneath. I found that I need to elevate by around a height of 5.5 inches, so this stand was perfect. Here, I'm doing a quick unboxing. I'm not going to review the monitor in this video to keep the video short. If interested in my thoughts on the screen, leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe to see how it goes. We have the monitor, the cables it comes with, the stand which we'll set aside, and the manual. Next we have the Visa mount. I actually couldn't mount it as normal because the metal at the bottom was blocking the power and HDMI cables. Last but not least, the stand for the iMac which comes in really simple and thin packaging, but I read the reviews and it supports up to 80 pounds and is apparently super sturdy. So as you can see, this is not exactly a Pro Display XDR. Obviously the iMac panel doesn't have the same contrast ratio, nor does it achieve the same brightness, but for my purposes, which is video editing and some games, this is perfect. The main work area is still 5K and super sharp, and everything I need the extra resolution for below it is mostly timeline and seeing any live streams. See my other video on how to use monitor space underneath the iMac in the form of an iPad with sidecar. Overall, I set out with a unique problem. How do I add vertical screen real space to an iMac setup for Final Cut Pro? And I think I came up with a unique solution. Do you think this was a good solution to more vertical screen real estate? Or is it a terrible idea? 
or is it pure genius? Let me know in the comments below because I'm genuinely interested in hearing your thoughts. Everything you saw in today's video will be available via links in the description. They are affiliate links, which means that if you buy any of these items through the links, I get a small percentage, and they're still the same price on Amazon for any link users. Any proceeds will go towards helping support the channel so I can create more interesting videos in the near future. But overall, was this a good idea? No, no, it was a terrible idea. The issue was that there was too much space between the iMac and the display, so it was an awful viewing experience, the viewing angles were terrible, and yeah, so I would not recommend it, but I figured I would try, try my best, and see what would happen. As always, likes if you liked it, subs if you loved it. Peace.